Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft 121, The Tricky Trials. Now as you've probably gathered from the title, we're going to be doing some work on our cemetery today, but before we get to that, we've got a few other things to take care of first, and in particular, I need to do a little bit of enchanting. You see at the moment I have a beautiful diamond sword, which is a little bit limp. The only enchantment it's got on it is mending and I need something a little bit stronger and oh that wall is looking fantastic. But let's head to the enchanter. So the first thing I'll need to do is of course grind off the mending and then we'll pop it in there and see what it gives us. Alrighty here we go, sword goes in, lapis goes in and we have Bane of Arthropods. Knockback one, sharpness one, not good at all. We're gonna need something a little bit better than that so I'll need to enchant something else first just to re-roll the enchantment table but I don't want to take off any of the enchantments I have on my current gear cause well some of them are pretty good. So I think what I need to do is head out to the house. I've still got a few diamonds stashed away there, which I can use to make some other tool and I'll run that through the enchanter first. And I've decided to go with a diamond pickaxe. Let's see what this gives us. In goes pickaxe, in goes lapis and we have fortune three. Oh yes, fortune three, efficiency four. I will definitely be taking that, which means we can disenchant this one with only fortune two. And then let's see what is on offer here. We have Bane of Arthropods again. Um, yeah, no, I am not taking that. Let's see what the pickaxe gives us. Unbreaking, unbreaking efficiency. I need to re-roll this again. So let's just do that. Put unbreaking two on it. And yeah, that's not good. Well, here we go once again. Let's unenchant this. Yeah, that's the correct one. There we go. And then let's see what it gives us this time. Fingers crossed, we'll, oh, sharpness three, I can go for that. Except I can't go for that because I don't have enough levels. I'm back, I've got levels and it's time to put some sharpness on my sword. Here we go, once again to the enchanter. In goes diamond sword, not stake. And in goes lapis and we have sharpness three, much better. I've got some more levels and I'm back at the enchanter because after I enchanted my sword, this was the next thing given to me on this pickaxe, silk touch, which I desperately need. With our enchanting done, it's time to start working on our cemetery and turn it into a spooky, creepy place where all kinds of ghosts and goblins can roam and wreak havoc. <laughs> And the first thing we're going to do is measure out our mausoleum. I don't want it to be overbearingly big. I also don't want it to be too small. So I'm going to go for, I don't know, about 13 blocks. And then in this way, we'll go about seven or nine or so. I want to make it one wider, which means I need to do a little bit of terraforming first. So let's just grab some dirt and place a few blocks right here. Terraforming is done, let's carry on with measuring out our mausoleum and I think that looks like a pretty good size. So let's just carry on, go all the way around and I think that is looking good. Now the other thing I want to do in this cemetery is build some trees, not beautiful lush green trees, but some dead creepy trees with lots of branches, lots of sticks poking out in every direction and I want to place the first one right here next to the mausoleum. What I would normally do in this circumstance is build some trees in creative mode and then import them with like Matica, but I'm gonna try and not do that this time around. So I'm gonna build the tree out of dirt first, get a rough shape going, see what that looks like, and then from there I will replace the dirt with some wood. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's go on this side and we'll build another branch coming out in this direction. Once we have all of the main branches done, I'll start replacing it with wood and see what it looks like. We've got a rough idea of what the tree will look like and I think that's not looking bad at all. Now before we start replacing all of that dirt with wood, I've got a little bit of housekeeping to do because my trapdoors keep oxidizing. I really should just go get some honeycomb and wax these, but that requires a trip to the nether and I can't be bothered right now. So I'm just gonna manually de-age these Let's see, are there any more that needs to be done? Oh yeah, the ones at the top really need some attention, but I think I'm gonna leave them until I've got the wax and then I will climb up onto the roof and go and de-age those as well. Right now, however, it's time to build. I'm gonna start off with the mausoleum. 
And for that, I'm going to use some deep slate bricks and of course, a ton of tough. We've got such beautiful tough bricks. I can't wait to use them in this build. I think they're gonna fit in absolutely beautifully. But first, we'll get the base layer going. Just place down some of the deep slate bricks and then I'll fill in the remaining gaps with some tough bricks. And I think that ought to do it. So let's grab our tough bricks. Let's get going. The base layer is pretty much done. So next thing, let's take this up about five blocks just to get the height that we're going for. And that looks pretty good. So let's do the same in the four other corners. The height on the corners look pretty good. So next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of a lip at the top just to create some depth in the build. We're going to take this all the way around, around the front as well. Not bad. And if it seems like I'm working without any sort of plan, that's probably because I am working without any sort of plan. I'm just placing blocks, seeing where it goes. And that means there's probably going to be a lot of remodeling, a lot of reshaping going on, and a lot of ideas that I have are going to change. But for now, I like where this is going. Next up, we can start working on the walls. And for that, I'm going to be using this magnificent chisel tuff just to get some patterns in there. And oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. The first two walls are complete and they are looking phenomenal. Of course, the other two walls are just massive holes at the moment, but we'll sort them out in no time at all. We've got the idea, we've got the concept. So from here on, it's going to be a lot easier. And that means we can complete the two remaining walls in short order. Now I came back to the Mesa to collect some dead bushes and the first thing I found was a mine shaft. And if I find some name tags in this mine shaft, I'm going to be absolutely furious. I spent hours looking for a mine shaft in the previous episode and if this gives me what I wanted then, I'm not going to be happy. Well, the good news is I did not find any name tags in that mine shaft. I have, however, got my dead bushes and that means I can plant them all around my mausoleum. You'll probably notice immediately that there has already been some renovations going on here and there'll probably be a lot more. But let's see what our dead bushes look like and I think that's a little bit overkill. Let's just thin them out, grab our shears and then I'll just remove one or two here and there. So let's take these out, remove that one and see what that looks like. And I think that's already a lot better. I am, however, getting a little bit sidetracked with some details and I think it's time to start working on the roof. So let's just dig out this side, complete this wall and then we'll get up there and we'll start building the roof. Don't get too excited, it's not a real roof, it's only a facade. And I think there's a little bit more work I can do on it, but so far I think it is looking pretty good. So let's just get up there, let's work a little bit on the facade and from there we'll build the rest of the roof. The roof is done. The mausoleum has been built and it's time for some details. Of course, what can be better than a few jack-o'-lanterns and some bushes. Now I want to make it look really overgrown, really neglected and old. So let's start off with a few bushes along the path. Nobody has been taking care of the cemetery for a very long time. It's daylight once again, which makes it look a little bit less creepy, but I really do like the way it's coming together. A few lanterns will help keep most of the mobs away, although a few zombies wandering around would add a touch of authenticity. And just look at that, it is night and that mausoleum is looking proper creepy. Now the next thing to do, of course, will be the trees and then we'll add a few graves as well. So here we go, we're gonna start with this one. I'm going to start just reshaping a little bit of this dirt and then I'll start replacing it with some dark oak. I want the tree to be nice and dark, nice and creepy, but before we get to replacing it with a dark oak, I want to get a little bit of a better shape to it. At the moment it's not fantastic and I think I can do much better. So let's get up there and let's work on some of these branches. Then we'll start replacing it with the wood. Half the tree has been done, I think it is looking pretty decent. I'm using some fences and fence gates in addition to the blocks. I'm using some stairs, some slabs and there's going to be a lot of reshaping happening here. I want to have a nice gentle slope on most of these branches and that means going up half slabs at a time. So here we go, let's go one half slab there, 
and then we'll do the same over here because I don't think the stairs are quite doing the job I wanted to do. So there we go and then the branch can taper out in this direction and that's looking a lot better. The rest of the tree has been done, I think there's still going to be some more work happening on it but for now I am quite happy with the way it turned out. It is certainly looking dark and spooky and it is a perfect companion for the mausoleum. But right now it's time to go to bed and we'll continue the work in the morning. And we've got one happy little tree who could use a friend. So we're going to do the exact same thing over here. We're going to build it out with some dirt, get the basic shape going. From there we'll reshape it and then start replacing it with some dark oak and I think that's a good start. We now have two spooky creepy trees flanking our mausoleum and I think that is looking absolutely phenomenal. Let's just run up the hill, take a look at it and um, okay yeah we're a little bit far away. It gets a little bit lost in the distance but I am extremely happy with my creepy dead trees. The next thing this cemetery needs is some graves. And just look at that. Yes, I'm looking at it at night a lot. I'm using a bit of shaders, but it just looks so awesome. Now, while the cemetery is starting to look absolutely phenomenal, as you can see, I've added some spider webs. Uh, maybe a few too many. I'll take care of that a little bit later. But right now, it's looking amazing. And we're going to leave it there for the time being because it's time to head to bed, get some rest, and prepare for our next adventure. It's a brand new day, but before we get going, we need to do a little bit of housework, which of course means cleaning up the trapdoors once again. Just a few more out here, and then we can get going. And the next adventure I spoke of is going to take place in the trial chambers. I found this while I was digging for iron in one of the earlier episodes, and I think right now is the perfect time to get in there and explore Minecraft's newest structure. Now I've already done a video on exploring a trial chamber before and today I'm going to try and do what I couldn't do in that one. I'm going to try and find a heavy core and make myself a mace. Now of course the first thing we need to do is get into the trial chamber themselves and I'd like to do that without breaking all of my legs. So let's see if we can find a way down right now. I think I'm right on the roof and I need to find a wall so I can dig myself a little pathway down or maybe if I get low enough I'll just jump. And of course I decided to jump and straight away we've got some skeletons. Let's just take care of these guys. Ow! They are everywhere. But that's alright, we've got a shield, we've got some pretty decent armor. And these guys shouldn't put up too much of a challenge. Last of the skeletons and there we go. Let's see, what's the reward for clearing our first spawner? It is a trial key. Awesome start. And we'll use that to unlock one of these vaults just in a second. First I need to clear some space in my inventory. And with a lot less junk in the trunk, we can grab our key and we can go to this vault and see what we get. So uh, yeah, let's just switch over to our key, get rid of the pants and let's pop it in there and see what it gives us. It gives us a breeze. No, not really. But anyway, let's take care of this breeze. Ooh, he is extremely jumpy. Where'd my reward go? Oh, I picked it up. Okay, we got a wind charge. Two wind charges from this vault. Not brilliant, but there's plenty more vaults to go. So let's take care of this breeze over here. And oh my goodness, they run away fast. Let's get him. And yo, they are extremely jumpy today. Gotcha. And that gives us some breeze rods. And if I'm correct, I will need those to make a mace as well. I don't really know the recipe. I'll look it up later. But first, let's take care of all these breezes. And then we'll see what we get from this corner. So come here, Mr. Jumpy. And we got a loaf of bread. Fantastic. A loaf of bread. What a reward. Well, never mind. We'll just follow up by taking out these husks and see if they want to give us something better. So we've got three right over here. I'm sure there'll be a few more coming around that corner any second now. So let's just take care of these guys quickly and not get overwhelmed. Alrighty, another one with some armor and he's got a little plainclothes friend with him. So take care of these guys and here we go. Ooh, another trial key. Absolutely brilliant. So let's go find another vault to unlock. I've got hunger apparently, but that's all right because I got a loaf of bread. So here we go. Vault number two. Let's slot that key in there. And what do we get? Ooh, a golden apple. Lovely. Some emeralds. 
and a diamond axe. That's a lot better than the first one which gave us two wind charges. So we'll take all of that and then we'll carry on. There's still a lot of trial chamber to explore. Yes, I'm back home because in order to get a heavy core, you need to open an ominous vault. And in order to open an ominous vault, you need an ominous vault key. And in order to get an ominous vault key, I'm going to need some ominous bottles. And I'm back in the trial chambers. And the second I jumped in, I was accosted by a bunch of skeletons, which is why I look a little bit like a porcupine. But that's all right. We're drinking our ominous potion and it's time to take on our first ominous spawner. And it's going to be this one right here. Now, once you've got the ominous effect on you, these things are a lot tougher. The enemies that spawn have some diamond armor, enchanted bows, and I'm just going to let those two battle it out while I take care of Mr. Skeleton number three over here. So as long as those two keep fighting, I should be all right with the third one. And um, it's probably not the best idea to back myself into a corner, but in this particular piece of the chamber, there's not a lot of room. All right, we got our last skeleton over here. As soon as I take care of this guy, we should be getting our reward. And let's see, our first ominous spawner gives us friggin' potatoes. Lovely. Okay, so we've got some potatoes. We've got some bread. This is turning out to be an absolutely brilliant run. Let's get the next spawner going and then we'll take care of the breeze. And hopefully they'll give us something a little bit better than bread this time. Now, I'm not sure if the breeze coming from an ominous spawner is tougher in any way than the regular ones, because they seem to be going down quite easy. And I do believe this is the last where the heck did these slimes come from. I don't know if this trial chamber is in a slime chunk, and I don't know if they would spawn if it was, but they'll give us some slime balls, which is always handy, and more potatoes. I mean, it's, it's, it's not exactly like we're looking for good loot down here now, is it? Another spawner, another two spawners, in fact, and they are both spider spawners. And these guys don't really hurt all that much, but they are poisoning me, and that is causing a little bit of an issue. But we've taken care of the spiders, and we have... Ooh, uh, ominous trial key. Absolutely brilliant. Now all we need to do is find an ominous vault which I think there's one right over here, up on that ledge. So let's just build a little bridge over to it. Is that one? No, that's just a normal vault. All right, let's make our way back up. Let's bridge over to the ominous vault at the top and let's see what loot we get from it. I'm hoping for a heavy core. To be honest, I'm hoping for anything better than a loaf of bread or a few potatoes. So here we go. One block over there, and let's see. Here we go, our first ominous vault. Let's get our key, and we have... That looks like a banner pattern. There was something, and a block of diamonds. What else did I get? I'm not sure, but the fact that I can't identify it means it's not great. On to the next room we go, and hopefully we'll get some better loot over there. The block of diamonds was quite nice, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. And I think I'm just going to pop down here, set my spawn over here, because you never know when something nasty might happen. And we're in the next room. We've got some tough husks coming at us, and we're just standing over here being a complete chicken, and oh, for goodness, that did not work out very well. Oh, there's many husks down here. Oh, jeez, they hurt a little bit more. Oh, many more. No, slime. No, 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 no. Where are these slimes coming from? I would have been all right if I could run away, but obviously I was slimed in place. No matter, here we go. We're going to get our stuff back and oh goodness, that guy hurts if you don't have any armor on. It's here somewhere. Yeah, here's our stuff. Let's grab that slime again and we'll get out of here. Oh no, 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 no. Let's run. Oh crap. I really do hope I don't have some sort of death loop situation going on here because I've got no armor and getting my stuff back is proving to be a bit of a challenge. Here we go, third time's the charm. Let's just make our way. Never mind. Perhaps the fourth time shall be the charm. So once again, let's make our way back, see if we can get our stuff back and hopefully we won't just die the instant we see the first husk. As we now know, they are quite dangerous, and um, yeah, I think I might need to use my brain. 
So I've lured Gandalf the Husk out of the way, I've got myself back in, and hopefully this time I can get my stuff back without dying. Okay, I'm trapped in a corner, but that's alright, I've got a little bit of time, I've got a diamond axe at least, I've got my pants, and there we go, first husk is taken care of. Now if I can grab the rest of my stuff, get my armor back on, then we should be alright. So here we go, in here, and jeez, oh, can these slimes just get out of the way? Fortunately, I've got my axe. Ah. Uh, these tiny ones aren't really a problem. I think that's everything. Yeah, let's just take this guy as well. And these bottles. What effect do I have on me? Oozing. What the heck is oozing? Anyway, let's go see where are the rest of these husks. Let's get my sword at the ready and then we'll take them out. Once that's done, we can try again for another ominous vault key. And hopefully this time we'll get the loot we want. So I'm going to take this guy out with my bow. And he is proving to be quite tough in his diamond armor. Big man with his diamond armor. And jeez, he's taking a lot of arrows to the face. It doesn't seem to phase him. Okay, nobody's got time for this. Let's just take care of him with our sword and carry on. I think that's most of the enemies. So let's see what rewards we have. We have... What the heck is that? A potion of strength. That might come in handy. Oh, we've got some more breezes going on back here. Let's just take care of these guys and hopefully they'll give us some good stuff. And once again, they are proving to be extremely jumpy and we've got... Oh, gee, we've got some more husk friends. So I think maybe it's time. Oh, baby husk, baby husk. No, baby husk, go away. Yeah, there he goes into the hole. That's all right. Let's just take care of these guys and then we'll go take care of baby husk a little bit later. I have no idea where he went, but we'll worry about that in just a minute. And oh, baby husk is back. I'm gonna go over here. Oh no, they can come around. Okay, no, baby husk. I hate these guys. Seriously, I hate these guys. Anyway, um, where's my hidey hole? Here's my hidey hole and baby husk is no more. So let's take care of the rest of the husks and hopefully they'll give us some good loot. Just lure them over here and then we can take him out at our leisure. So here we go. Golden armor. Very nice, but that won't help you escape my wrath. One more over here and then we've got some more breezes floating around. Haha. <laughs> One less over there. And these husks aren't too tough without their fantastic diamond armor now, are they? Anyway, I heard that vault open. I'll go check it out just now. But first, let's just get rid of the last of these breeze. And it's time to go and check out our rewards as soon as I find them. What do we have? A trial key. All right. Not fantastic, but not bad. I think that is an ominous vault. But let's just check out the rest of the stuff. Let's see. What do we have over here? Nothing. Okay, well, I think I've picked up everything that's on offer here. So let's make our way down and unlock us a vault. Here we go. In goes... No. Okay, it seems we've already looted that one. There's a few more down here. I'll go check if I can find them just now. Uh, as soon as I remember exactly where they are. No, they're not in here, if I remember correctly. But it's around here somewhere. I think it's back here. And... Um, I've opened that one already as well. Uh... All right, there's a lot of vaults. Aha! Take that, Mr. Vault. And we have a bottle of honey and a book. Yeah, that makes up for everything we've been through. At least it's pretty tasty. All right, here we go. Round number two. It's time to down our next ominous bottle. And this is the only one we have. So let's hope that we get the good stuff this time. And of course, the first thing I activate is the breeze spawner. But there's some husk spawners around here. Ooh, there's an ominous vault. There's some husks around here. And uh, let's just see if we can take care of the breeze. Not so jumpy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are quite jumpy still. All right. I've taken up the chicken position over here. There's some husks that have fallen down into the hole below. And I'm just going to take them out with my bow. Now, we've got one annoying breeze that keeps yeeting its breeze balls at me. And we'll take care of him in just a minute but for now i'm not gonna go overboard i'm gonna be safe i'm gonna take out all of these husks with my bow and once i'm pretty sure it's safe i'll go after that breeze and okay now he's just annoyed okay now you're done it you're dead i'm coming for you oh no no not this again not 
Not this again. At least there's no slimes this time. But oh, I've got oozing, which means there's going to be slimes any minute now. I'm running away. I've got about four or five husks on my tail. I've got a breeze yeeting his stuff at me. And uh, I think it's time to pop a golden apple just to make sure that we survive this. Uh, I don't think this is the strategy. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the strategy. Come get me now, guys. And easy mode engaged. Just the one husk remaining and then a bunch of slimes. But fortunately, they're down in the water. They didn't cause me any trouble. And we're getting a bunch of slime balls, which is really nice. I'm not going to need too many slime balls early game. And that means I don't need to go find a swamp or a slime chunk just yet. So here we go. Mr. Breeze, your time is up. We've got the breeze rods. Let's go check if there are any more of them floating about. I can hear some husks around here somewhere. And I can hear a breeze. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. Let's go get him. If he'll stand still for more than one second. Ah, come on. Yeah, go down there with your chicken friend. Anyway, let's take care of you. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted to run into. That's all right. We'll take out the husk and then we'll take out the breeze. One more shot. And I think that, ladies and gentlemen, should be all of him. I just heard a vault give up the goodies. So let's go see what we have. And there's a lot of fire around here, but we have a golden carrot. It's, yes, I wish they would give more than one. But, oh, ominous trial key. And another ominous trial key. That is brilliant. So it's time for us to go find some more ominous vaults and see if this time we can finally get a heavy core. And it seems that ominous vaults are not as common as one might think. There's one over there, so we're just going to breach over and see if we get some good stuff from it. Here we go, a few more blocks. And it's ready for us. Let's pop that key in there and let's see. We've got arrows, emeralds. Oh, gee. Really? Okay, that is quite pathetic. I do not like it when I get stuff like that, but I think we'll give it some string in return. There you go. Now, these trial chambers aren't exactly massive, but they're not small either, and I find it very easy to get lost in them. I guess my brain isn't very good at mapping where I've been and where I've come from, but we've got some husk here. We've still got the ominous effect going for a few more seconds, and we should be getting some goodies from this vault. It is another ominous trial key. Now we just need to find some more ominous vaults. I'm back in the spider room. We haven't got the ominous effect anymore, so these guys shouldn't be too much of a problem. They keep ganging up on me, but I shall be victorious. I think that's the last batch spawning. Then we can see what goodies we get from these two spawners again. And yeah, not so tough without the ominous effect now, are you? The spiders gave us a vault key. We're going to pop it right in here and we get arrows and a bow. Uh, this could be alright if it's a really good bow, so let's check it out. We have got power 2. Yeah, our bow is a little bit better than that. Anyway, let's see what arrows these are. These are arrows of poison, not exactly what I want. Now let's just grab this, a potion of swiftness. Let's down that and let's make haste to find some ominous vaults. It might be a bit of a challenge, as it seems that I am rapidly running out of vaults in this trial chamber. And um, yeah, we've already done that one up there. I finally remembered that there was an ominous vault down here. And hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, this will give us what we're looking for. Let's pop our key in here. And we get... Yes! We have a heavy core. We've got some diamonds, we've got some emeralds, and ooh, more emeralds. Okay. Now we just need to make space for all of this stuff. Um, we can get rid of that. We've got our heavy core. Brilliant. As for the diamonds, I think I'm just going to convert this into normal diamonds. There we go. And then I'll just do the same with the emeralds. There we go. All right. I'll leave that right there. Not interested in that. But that means, ladies and gents, we have our heavy core. We can finally get out of this trial chamber and go make ourselves a mace. Let's just take a look at this sucker. And it's a lot smaller than I would have thought. But it's called a heavy core, not a large core. So let's just find our way out of here. Um, as I've already said, it's no easy task. I keep getting lost. Here we go. I think this is the way out. Up these stairs, we should... Yep. We're going in the right direction. This is the chamber where we came in. 
and that means we can finally make our way out, make a mace and go flatten a few things. All I need to do is build myself a little staircase up to the entry hole and we've still got one ominous key but I don't know where to find any more ominous vaults. So let's just hang on a second. I didn't check this vault, let's go have a look and it is an ominous vault. One final goodbye present from the trial chambers. Let's see. Oh, enchanted golden apple, lots of emeralds, some diamonds and a diamond axe. This is a pretty good vault. Anyway, we need to figure out where we can put all of this stuff. I've got one steak, two pork chops. Let's eat the steak and we've got our diamond axe. So down goes the steak. We'll grab our pork chops. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. Let's get out of here. So here we go. I have no idea how to make a mace. Okay, well, that's simple enough. I've got breeze rods. I've got a heavy core. I've got a mace. Oh, and look how slowly you lift it. It is heavy indeed. Check it out. Ha! Awesome animation going there. But now that we have a mace, we need to enchant this sucker. And that means I need to get some levels, which means going back to the zombie form. Levels acquired. It's time to enchant our mace. I've been reading up on mace enchantments and I think I want density and wind burst. So we'll see what we get. Ah, uh, jeez, I've got so much nonsense, but in goes the lapis, in goes our mace. We get density four. I'll take it. Only got density 4, but I'm sure I'll find a librarian with wind burst somewhere along the line. And it's time to go test out our latest toy. Now, as far as I understand, we climb up on some blocks, jump down and... Okay, well, not like that. Whack! There we go. Now we need something to test it out on and I think... Hmm. I'm sorry, cows, but this is for science. Here we go. Ooh, that was a mighty smack indeed. Brilliant. But now that we're done playing, it's time to get back to work. And the next thing I want to build is a little caretaker shack for the cemetery. Once again, I haven't planned anything. I've got some spruce logs and I want to make it look like a rickety old little shack. And I have some good news. Replay mode for 121 is finally available, which ladies and gentlemen means I can finally say, let's speed this up with a time lapse. Our caretaker shack is complete. It is looking just as spooky as the rest of the cemetery, which is looking absolutely brilliant. Let's just get rid of our crafting table as it ruins the aesthetic a little bit. And then let's take a quick look at our cemetery, which is looking extremely spooky in the moonlight. I think the trees are looking great. The mausoleum is looking great. And I am very, very pleased with what we've done. And then the last thing I want to do today is a little garden right outside the house over here. I've got some carrots, I've got some potatoes, I haven't planted them anywhere yet, and I just want to make a little decorative garden right over here, which means we're gonna put down some water, then we'll grab our hoe and just make a little garden patch. I don't want it to be symmetrical at all. It doesn't need to produce a lot of goods. It just needs to look good. Next up, we'll mark out the path with a few fence posts. So just plonk them down in no particular order or fashion. And then of course, we need to add a few bushes because everything looks better if you just add a few leaves. Then it's time to plant our potatoes. And of course, with the potatoes goes the carrots. I don't want to plant the entire thing with potatoes and carrots. I think it'll look good if there's a few empty spots here and there and maybe bring in some beetroot as well. A few slabs to create some rocks, just to give the illusion that this is a very well established little garden. And what garden is complete without a tree? A small custom tree right over here. I don't want it to be too big or overbearing, so let's not go too crazy. 
And finally, we'll finish off the garden with a little bit of coarse dirt around the edges. Just pop that in there. And thanks to the replay mod, we can finally get a beautiful cinematic view of everything we have created so far. And it is looking amazing. The garden is a magnificent touch at the back of the house and we'll be adding a bit more of that as we go. And of course, our symmetry is looking brilliant. We've got the creepy caretaker shack, we've got our spooky trees, our beautiful mausoleum is sitting over there in the middle, and overall, I am extremely happy with what we have created here. The graves are nicely rounded out by the one or two jack-o'-lanterns, the candles, and overall, I think this is looking amazing. And at night, it becomes even more spooky. Now that we have a mausoleum with a book in it, we can start recording all of our deaths and I shall do so before the next episode. I'll also start working on my penalties, but that is another story for another day. However, as the rain comes down, that is unfortunately all we have time for today. I really do hope you enjoyed the episode, leave a like if you did, and if you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time, beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye-bye.